When yeah, you think those cultures are better than America? You know what? Let's pool resources. I've never done a fundraising on this channel. Let's do the first fundraising. And the first fundraising will be get to get your black ass off, out of this country. If you think the other cultures are better, and there's multiple ways you can do that to get your ass out of this country. Here's one way. We could have a peaceful national divorce. So you can be in a country that has Eastern philosophy or whatever the hell bizarre philosophies you want, and I'll be in the country with people who believe in the original take of the Constitution, nationalist, Christian, whatever you want to call it in the other country. And that's a way that we can get your black ass out of this country because you're always bringing race into stuff where it doesn't, it's not supposed to. So we could do that, or we could fund sending you over to Africa that whatever, you know, what, what does Africa mean? There's, there's how many countries in Africa, big ass continent. But we can send you ass to whatever you want in Africa if it's better, or I can we can spend money and ha have a peaceful div national div divorce where you're in the side of the country that hates the Constitution, hates Western country culture, and I'll be in the country, the USA number one. I'll be in that country that reveres Western culture and society. Why don't we do that? If you're really about it, then you'd be about it. I talked about, I'll end with this. I talked about this just now on, on a stream with Stephen Ignoramus. And we talked about the Scott Adams thing in the, in the topic of national divorce. And Stephen was, you know, I, th I believe he said something to the effect of, yeah, well, you know, how would that work? Would they even let that happen or something like that? And I said, you're right. It's, I'm talking about a utopia. What happens is, is why I have this, this uh, Eric July uh, on drop here they want to beat your ass they want to whoop your ass in order to prevent us from whooping your ass in the future we have to whoop your ass right now this is psychopathic behavior and in this context in this context what i mean is if i tell cory bush if you like a different culture other than western society culture then why don't you split the country up into two spots she wouldn't want to do that. Why? Because she thinks her side has the power. She goes through the Democratic Party structure and she says, no, just like Scott Adams said, UCRT people think that I don't have a right to be whatever that means. So if you don't like me, then that's fine. I just, I'll stay away from you and you do whatever you want to do. I'll just stay away from you. They say, no, 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 you can't do that. Don't stay away from me because we need to whoop your ass. That's why. If you go away from me, if you separate from me, then how am I going to whoop your ass? In order to prevent us from whooping your ass in the future, we have to whoop your ass right now. This is psychopathic behavior. And that's why Cori Bush would not support a national divorce. There's no way. She thinks she has the upper hand. She thinks her cabal Democratic Party machine has control. So she'll say, no, you can't separate from this country. Why? Because if you separate from this country, then you won't get this ass beating that I think I'm going to get to give you. And that's what it comes down to.